not really girly as it is. I, you know, I'm pretty much a tomboy, so I fit in pretty well. But there's a lot of stereotypes for all not kinds of names get, you know, are thrown around. So I mean, I don't, I don't need to say those names. But women boxing is, it's a little controversial because there's still that old school mentality. Men don't want to see, and even some women don't want to see other women fight. And my dad's side of the family totally doesn't condone me fighting at all. You know, they asked me if I hated myself because you know, my grandmother asked me, "You must hate yourself." She goes non-stop from the time she gets in here to the time she, she leaves here. So in the ring, she applies that same attitude. And that's the thing I think that'll make her a great fighter. All right. My name is Chris Miller, owner of Maximum Fitness. I'm actually here to talk about Amelia. She's one of my sponsor fighters. 22 years old, very inspiring person, businesswoman, boxer. She comes to my gym three or four days a week, gets her strength and conditioning in till we get her ready for a fight. When I first met Amelia, I met her through her boyfriend, Matt. And actually, my first perception of Amelia was she's cocky as hell. Absolutely. I didn't know if I was supposed to say hell, but I said it. <laughs> okay, we just got here. Uh, the fight fell through on weigh-ins. They were trying to negotiate right now to get what's called an exhibition. Um, in the amateur leagues, we don't we don't actually do exhibitions, we do training seminars because exhibitions are illegal. So I'm actually just gonna work, you know, just jabs and I'm gonna work on my defense so that I can gain some out of this. on their part because the girl I was supposed to actually be having an exhibition with was with the fight before me. Um, so I ended up with a girl who is probably at least 15 pounds heavier than me, um, which is fine. Like, you know, this is what we come here for. You're supposed to be able to fight anybody, anytime, anywhere. That's what we train for. My mom's always kind of just always been whispering in my ear, you can do it anything, anything you want as long as, you know, you try your hardest. If she says try your hardest, you better win. Like, she's really competitive, you know, she expects that if you're gonna go out there, there's no point in losing, but always proud of me no matter what happens, you know, just as long as I'm not, I don't quit, I don't quit on myself because that's not what we're about. She kind of just lets me do my own thing, I, I don't, as long as I have a drive to do something, she's, she backs me 100%, I have to show that real fire and you know, she may not be able to ever support me financially, but um, moral and, and that, like,
like emotional support. She always tells me, you know, just go for it. Go for your dreams. 